What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. In a previous video, we apparently got reunited with our fiance. Who the hell would have known that that German girl that we've been writing letters to is apparently our fiance? Like, it was apparently like a fixed marriage you know the stuff that Indian people generally tend to do it's it's known in other cultures as well but I think it's still a predominant thing in the Indian cultures rather than you know everywhere else in the world so yeah um, we we found out she's in a wheelchair and I have a feeling that she's got a lot more information to tell us about what the hell exactly is going on so I hope she might be the key to unlocking that part so let us continue the room she prepared has the same layout as the one I'm used to, so I think I must be staying in one of the church's guest rooms. We waited for Nina to calm down. It was night when she stopped crying. Only the candles' warm lights illuminate the room. Oh, look at here. I brought a souvenir. Please enjoy this with everyone. Wow, it smells really good. May I? The souvenir Nina put out is a pack of tea leaves. Tea leaves. That's very like you, Nina. Eh? And I assume, uh, assume it's Earl Grey, isn't it? I remember that's your favorite. Tara Yoshisama. You remember that about me? Nina's eyes become teary again, this time with the light. When it comes to tea, I can never forget how eloquently she writes about it. And because of her influence, I had afternoon tea times in the mansion. How about having a drink with us? I'll make tea for you, so please wait here. Excuse me, Miss Rosary, I will do that for you. Don't worry, Lisa-san, you're my guest, so you can leave it to me. Thank you, Rosary-san. As a matter of fact, Lisa is bad at making tea. <laughs> um, my lady, you promised you wouldn't say that. She's good at tasks like dismembering livestock, but she's not too good at delicate ones. I think Nina just divulged something pretty awful about Lise very casually, but I'm concerned about Rosary as well. Hey, Rosary, are you able to do it? That tea is so expensive, you know. Hmm, I'm from England, the home of teas, so I'm good at making tea. Uh-oh, I think we offended her. <laughs> uh, does that mean we need to use a British accent for Rosary? Oh my god, I can't do that. I honestly can't. Good morning, governor. That's not even close. That's, uh, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Rosary leaves the room, humming. She must be so happy because tea is hard to obtain in the slums. Given the color of her hair, I figured she wasn't from here. But I didn't think we were from the same country. Oh, she's British too? Oh. Then how, how come at least is bad at making tea, despite being English, huh? I didn't know she was English either. And hey, Lise, you were born in England too? I thought you were from Germany. Like Nina, she just sort of has those German eyes, by which I guess are mean eyes. <laughs> yes, I used to live there. Uh huh. People may have passed that they would prefer to keep private, so it's best if I don't pry. Now that it seems my lady has calmed down, may I hear your story? To be honest, I didn't really think you were really Tadayoshi Kurokawa, because all the information about Mr. Tadayoshi I gathered did not match you. The late Tadayoshi Kurokawa is already a grown-up, not a kid like me, right? I remember what one of the mansion's guards told me when I tried to enter. Everyone disbelieves that Tadayoshi Kurokawa is already a grown-up, without a doubt. Nobody would try to dig deep into obvious facts. It'd be as pointless as asking why humans need to eat to live. Yes, my lady said it's not him, 
when I showed her the photos I obtained. The Rickensteins have a deep connection with the Kurokawas, so there was no way she could be mistaken. It's like someone is playing tricks on us. I don't know what to believe. But Lise believed what her master said. Hey Nina, do you know the person in the photos Lise showed you? No, he was a total stranger to me. I see. Odds are good that, they, that he has no connection to the Rickensteins. Lise, do you still have that photo? Yes, right here. I take a long and serious look at the photo Lise gave me. Who is this? I'm not sure if I've ever seen him before. It feels so strange. Doesn't ring a bell for me either. If that late Tadayoshi was someone I knew, it would be a clue to solving the case, but things aren't that easy. Mr. Tadayoshi, may I ask you a few things? Sure. Would you explain what happened to you during your time in this church? Please, tell us what you know. As for that, I don't know much unfortunately. As usual, I was reading books late at night and I went to sleep for about 45 years. I told them what happened. When I woke up, I was lying on a bed in church. Rosary told me that she picked me up in the slums. I tried to visit Tadayoshi Kurokawa's funeral, but the guard sent me away. Or it's all just a trick to, to get this guy out of the family, to get the real Tadayoshi Kurokawa out of the family, and then they just tell everyone else that the real one is an adult and therefore us, the actual, you know, yeah, why did I call the other one the real one? Considering we're the ones that are, I don't even freaking know. See, this is mind fucking me so much when I tried to figure it out that I probably shouldn't even try to do it because we don't have enough information to base anything or to try and guess some things from. So yeah, I'll just save that for later. I told them those things all the rest that had happened around me. Huh? Aww! T Tadayoshi sama was in trouble behind my back! Nina becomes teary again as she listens to my story. Lisa notes her tears and wipes them away with her handkerchief. Most of my family members didn't like me succeeding my father. All of them, I think, except for father himself. So I thought at first that it was a plot by someone within the family, but my guess seems to be wrong. If the body or the photos of the late Tadayoshi looked like me, I'd be willing to believe it. But in the end, neither the body nor the photos bore any resemblance to me. It sounds like everyone who's involved with Tadayoshi's sama is under hypnosis or something. But I've never heard of anyone who could do such things. Even if there really was someone who could pull that off, there are still some things that don't fit. My lady clearly recognizes that you really are Tadayoshi Kurokawa. Yeah. Nina was the only person who recognized me as Tadayoshi Kurokawa and she knew the person in the photo wasn't him. If it was someone's trick, why didn't it work on Nina? Well, whatever. So that's everything I know. <laughs> There's nothing I can do for myself. I'm so ashamed. I laugh with a touch of self-derision. Oh. Everyone becomes silent, and the air grows heavy in an instant. I told you not to shoulder everything yourself, remember? Rosary is back with the tea. The lovely aroma of Earl Grey wafts throughout the room. Thanks for the tea, Rosary. You're welcome. Rosary's smile and the tea fragrance remove the weight of the atmosphere. <laughs> Rosary-san, you're really nice. Just your presence makes us feel warm inside. Huh? Is that so? <laughs> I thought Nina's praise would make her happier, but that smile of hers 
is obviously fake. I guess she's not used to compliments. You should be more proud of that, Miss Rosary. It seems like you have a natural talent for inspiring people. That comes in handy on the battlefield. I don't think we'll be seeing uh, Rosary on the battlefield. Unless she goes to like a complete transformation and... I mean, I mean she's a nun, right? I mean, there are fighting nuns? I don't know. D doesn't the, the Pope have like a, a secret army of nuns? I've heard that somewhere, but that could just be completely fake. Now that I think about it more, it doesn't sound re really realistic, although it would be cool if it would have ex were to exist. But... I'm guessing that's just something fictional. Lise really is a dangerous woman, trying to relate everything to war. <laughs> Thank you! Look, I can see Rosary has no clue how she should react to that. And we're getting sidetracked. Now, we should get back on topic, shouldn't we? There are many things I want to ask all of you. Nina gives a slight nod with a serious look on her face. Oh my god. I don't know if you can hear it, but like I've been pressing this button of my second screen every single time for like every minute or so. Cause my second screen is sort of broken. Like it takes an incredible amount of luck and I guess touch as well to get it on because you have to press the button in a really specific way and if it you know when you leave the computer alone for like 10 minutes or something and the screen turns black it goes into like sleep mode for a little while that's when the screen just turns or at least my second screen turns completely black and then it becomes unusable for a very long time and for me it's been about a week now since i haven't been able to use my black screen and i've been trying to get it on ever since then but i still haven't been able to and I really would like for it to freaking work before Saturday because it helps a lot putting a lot of the clutter that I would then usually look at on my second screen like for example my recording or the, the, the XSplit thingy and if I were to, to stream Saturday the chat and whatnot that would make everything so much easier but it just doesn't freaking go on so yeah if I sound a little bit distracted and you hear like pushing noises in the background or like me going like oh god that means that it almost turned on because sometimes it's, I see this little hint of the background and then it disappears and goes completely black again so yeah that's my struggles at the moment but I'm trying to go through it so yeah let us continue Nina I can understand you coming all the way to Japan just because you because you'd heard about my death but how did you find that out that I was in the church this quickly my funeral was yesterday and I allegedly died about two days before the funeral. Isn't that like a really quick time to actually have a funeral? Like, not many people in my family or whatever have died. So I actually, I think there's only one funeral that I've ever attended in my entire life. And I was pretty young at that age. But I'm almost certain like from hearing from stuff here and there that usually when a person dies, the funeral is like, at the very least a week later unless you were like expecting that person to die but a heart attack is usually something that happens unexpectedly so two days after I guess being rich helps to quickly arrange all the funeral but that means that they were like really eager to get the funeral started as well so you know we got something to go on at least or at least that seems a little bit suspicious to me so if Nina started moving as soon as she heard of my death she should have arrived on the day of the funeral, or one day before. It wouldn't be easy, even for the Rickensteins, to narrow down my whereabouts in such a short time. T Tada yoshi sama I came to Japan for another reason. Nina's cheeks flush. A real purpose here is that Mr. Tadayoshi and my lady were scheduled to be married on the day of the funeral. Huh? I hadn't heard of such an important thing from anyone. I guess our parents arranged the wedding. And they don't care what Nina and I think. We heard of your death as soon as we arrived in Japan. We were supposed to stay in the hotel after attending your funeral, then return to Germany the following day. But I couldn't believe that Tan and Yoshisama had passed. 
So we didn't attend your funeral. And considering my lady's health, I thought it would have been better to return home as soon as possible. But... But something happened, right? As far as I can see from how Lise treats Nina, she would have been forced, uh, she would have forced Nina to return to Germany. But she didn't. That means something happened. About that, my lady, may I explain to him? Yes, Lise. Hand it to Tadayoshi-sama. Nina had teary eyes a while ago, but she has a dignified look now as she nods to Lise. Lise pulls out a letter out of her pocket, then gently puts it on the table. We found an anonymous letter in the hotel room where we were staying. Is it okay if I read it out loud? Nina and Lise nod at me. Let's see. Tadayoshi Kurokawa is still alive. Visit the old church in the slums. You'll see the truth there. Now this is interesting. But I'm not sure if there's anyone in the Kurokawa family besides father who would help me. Oh, I know who, who is behind this. I don't know the exact person, but it's like, remember that mysterious person who we saw? It was either at somewhere in the first or the second video. I have a feeling he might have something to do with this. Because who else? He is the only person that saw us. The, the main people that saw us are like people in the slum, so... I would guess those people don't really have power or know the people that could craft such a plan or know about me being the real me and not, you know, fake me that died and was grown up. So those people know about it. Lin know, knows us as well. The kids knows them. I, I doubt they would sell us out because the kids are freaking awesome. And uh, Rosary as well. And I think that's about it. So the I'm almost... I'm not entirely sure though, but I remember the mysterious person that we, you know, with the black hat. He might have saw, uh, seen us. I'm 50-50 on that one, but I have a feeling he might have something to do with this. I don't know exactly though. I think there might be someone who isn't on board with this plot. Whoever that is, that person must be very important as he or she knows of my current situation. I think that's the first flaw I've discovered. If I poke at it properly, I could find a way to solve this ridiculous case. We've been reading too much uh, Boy Detective, I think. He's always like, solving the case. I took fingerprints and investigated to see if there were any suspicious people at the hotel. But, you've done a full investigation, uh, investigation, even taking prints. That's just how the Rickensteins get things done, I guess. Yes. It's natural to do a full investigation if there's anything that may pose a threat to my lady. She's really talented in everything it seems. I'm glad that I didn't end up fighting her. Hmm? The paper the letter's written on feels odd to the touch. It feels familiar to me, somehow. Could it be? I tried to bring the letter close to the candle, heating the surface of the letter. Oh, what? Tadayoshi kun, what are you doing? You're burning a precious lead! Calm down and watch. I ignore Rosary's attempt at stopping me and attempt to keep the letter warm while being careful not to start a fire. Are letters appearing? What? How did that happen? No wonder Lise is surprised. Nobody would expect that there's a hidden letter within the letter. <laughs> <laughs> I heated it to see if there was any invisible ink. Nice one, Tadayoshi-sama. And what does the hidden letter say? Let's see. Hmm. To the people of Lepidoptera, I am the protector. That's all the hidden letter says. Lepidoptera? What does that mean? Butterfly. Rosary muttered the answer. Oh? You know Lepidoptera means butterfly in Latin, Rosary? I just heard it somewhere once before, that's all. To the people of butterfly then. I have no idea what it means. I think there is more meaning than the words tell. 
It said people, which means there are more than one. And the protector must mean the person who wrote the letter. There are many things unknown to us, but this is definitely a vital clue. So we'll have to find out who gave Nina this letter calling themselves the protector. Mr. Tadayoshi, may I ask you for a favor? Yes, what is it? I respond, but I can guess what Lise is going to say. I ask that you do not involve my lady in this any further. What? Lise? Why this all of a sudden? Nina suddenly looks lonely. Aww, but she has the cute little rabbit bear. Or stuffed animal. I don't know why I call bear. <laughs> my lady, please understand that I'm concerned for you. I can understand why Lise wants me to part with you. Aww. Nina knows that too, but it seems that she just can't accept, accept it. Mr. Tadayoshi, I know it's rude to say, but you are far away from the influence of Kurokawa Zaibatsu, and you're currently involved in a very dangerous situation. I know he is, but... I pledge my loyalty only to Lady Nina not to the Rickensteins as a whole. So I will eliminate anything that may harm my lady, no matter who they are. As far as Lise is concerned, I am a threat to Nina as I am now, and Lise thinks it's better to remove me. But Tadayoshi-sama is my precious, oh yeah, my precious. He used to be, but the situation has changed. The Mr. Tadayoshi who stands in front of you is no longer your fiancé, my lady. As soon as Lee says that, big teardrops emerge from Nina's eyes. The Rickensteins are a famous family run by German officers, and they look after Nina well. I lost the title of the Scion and likely successor of the Kurokawa family, so as I am, I'm unsuitable for her. Lisa-san, you're saying what you want, but you won't even try to understand how Nina feels? Rosary jumps into the conversation with an angry tone. It's very nice of her to be on my side, but... Mm. I happen to make eye contact with Lise, uh-oh. She makes an appeal to me through her eyes. I guess I understand what she wants. I thought Lise had gotten relaxed around us, but it seems like she's still testing me. Alright, let's see if I can live up to her expectations. Hey, what do you think, Nina? M me I want to... Don't rush. Take your time and talk at your own pace. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that she's sick because we don't know much about it other than the fact that... Lise only mentioned very quickly that she was sick, or her health is not in a good state at the moment. I give Nina a gentle smile. Then Nina smiles back at me. Nina breathes in a little, and look, uh, breathes in a little, and looks at everyone's faces one at a time. I don't want to part with Tadayoshi-sama. I want to stay in touch with him. Excuse me, but he is no longer the Tadayoshi Kurokawa who was your fiancé. On the contrary, staying in touch with Mr. Tadayoshi would lead you into trouble, my lady. I know it will be dangerous, but I want to see Tadayoshi-sama. Nina's words and will seem strong in sharp contrast with her looks a while ago. So, a servant has to obey the master, right? Oh, suck on that, Lise. I say to Lise sarcastically. Yes, I won't stop my lady from meeting you. I will just have to protect my lady wherever she goes, at all costs. Thank you, Lise. This is the first time Lise smiled at me. Lise wanted to see for herself if Nina was prepared for this, more like looking after a younger sister than a master. 
They know it's very dangerous to meet me at the moment. So, Nina, we can hang out later if you feel comfortable being with me as I am now. <laughs> you must be happy now, Nina-san. Here's to getting along. Yes, I hope we'll be good friends, Rosary-san. Mr. Tadayoshi, you seem to be tougher than I thought. Huh? What do you mean? Nothing. I'm just glad that my lady chose you. I don't understand what release really meant, but I think she's finally accepted me. And on that note, we're gonna end the video here. So, he said something about people of Lepidoptera, right? So apparently there's like, I mean, butterfly people? Could it be like special people are chosen as the butterfly people and someone is protecting them? I don't freaking know. Here I am making assumptions again about shit. I don't even know that much about yet. So yeah, we're just gonna have to wait until the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.